Control the center. Occupy and control the central squares of the board. Develop your pieces. Bring your knights and bishops into play early. King safety castle early to safeguard your king. Connect your rooks. Move your pawns to connect your rooks. Don't move the same piece twice in the opening. Prioritize development over redundancy. Avoid too many pawn moves. Overextending your pawn structure can weaken your position. Develop knights before bishops. Knights often have fewer options initially so bring them out first. Maintain a solid pawn structure. A solid pawn structure provides stability. Don't bring the queen out too early. The queen is vulnerable in the early game. Develop with a purpose. Each move should contribute to a plan. Use open files. Place your rooks on open files for increased mobility. Pawn structure awareness. Understand the implications of your pawn structure. King safety over material. Prioritize king safety over winning material. Coordinate your pieces. Pieces should work together harmoniously. Create outposts for your knights. Seek squares on the opponent's side where your knights can dominate. Think about your opponent's moves. Anticipate your opponent's plans and threats. Avoid unnecessary exchanges. Only trade when it benefits your position. Space advantage. Use your pawn structure to control more territory. Double rooks on open files. Place both rooks on open files for increased power. Pawn breaks. Look for pawn breaks to open up positions. Maintain peace activity. Keep your pieces active and avoid passivity. Avoid opening weaknesses. Be cautious not to create weaknesses in your position. Be flexible. Adapt your plans based on the changing nature of the game. King in the endgame. Bring your king into the endgame actively. Prophylaxis. Prevent your opponent's plans before they can execute them. Centralize your king in the endgame. The king becomes a powerful piece in the endgame. Zvishenzug Intermezzo. Consider intermediate moves in tactical situations. Create weaknesses in the opponent's camp. Exploit weaknesses in your opponent's position. King in the corner. If your opponent's king is in the corner, control the center. Two bishops advantage. If you have both bishops, open the position. Open lines for your bishops. Allow your bishops to exert influence on the board. Rook on the seventh rank. Place your rook on the opponent's seventh rank for pressure. Pawn promotion. Aim for pawn promotion opportunities in the endgame. Discipline in time management. Manage your time wisely during the game. Assess the position. Continuously evaluate the imbalances and dynamics of the position. Learn from your games. Analyze your games to identify areas for improvement. Finally keep a cool head because cool head is a winner.